Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some really cool iPhone life hacks that you wish you knew before. Now, most of these are actually very useful and you probably use a lot of them on a daily basis, but even if some are not, they're actually pretty cool to know. So let's get started with the first one. All right, before we get into the first one, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel, so it would really help out a lot if you would consider subscribing to the channel if you're watching the videos. That's really, really helpful. So please make sure you do so. Now let's get started with the first one. Now you know that on iOS, you can scan QR codes directly from the camera app of your iPhone. But there's also like a hidden app on iOS, which you cannot find anywhere, only on the spotlight search. So what you will need to do on the spotlight search, just search for scanner. Once you have done that, you can see right here, it says top hit, and this is a scanner. You can see right here, it says code scanner. You tap on it and it will open this right here. So this is a scanner that, that the iPhone has built in. You can see it says find the code to scan. You will also have the flashlight right here and you can just point it at a, at the QR code or anything and just scan it. So this is like a hidden app on iOS, which you can only find on the spotlight search. On your iOS device, when you want to send a screenshot to someone of anything on your device, you will of course take a screenshot and then open the app, let's say iMessage or Instagram, wherever you want to DM that, and of course load that screenshot from the photos library. But you can see that when you take a screenshot, the screenshot will actually have a little preview right here and it will stay there for a few seconds. Now what I can do right here, and this is really cool and of course a very fast way to send a screenshot to someone, if I just want to take a screenshot of the home screen and send it on iMessage, I have now time to open iMessage and just drag it right here so I don't have to actually load it and search it on the photo library. Or if I want to say, let's say just take a screenshot of another app like this, I can go ahead take a screenshot here and you can see I have plenty of time to open iMessage and just go ahead and drag it here and send that screenshot. Now this is a really cool and of course a very fast way to send a screenshot on iOS. You probably know that when you go to the control center of your device and you have of course enabled the button for the flashlight, you can turn it on and off here. And if you 3D touch, of course you can adjust the intensity of the flashlight. But did you know that this will actually be memorized? So if I set the intensity all the way up right there and turn this off anytime now when I turn on the flash, whether I do it from here or I do it from the lock screen button, it will have that intensity that we have set before. Now, if I just go ahead and adjust it like this, you can notice now it will have that lower intensity anytime I do that. So that's how it works. So you set the intensity here, and of course you can go ahead and turn it on and off and have that same intensity all the time. So you can see it will actually memorize it. So you can see if I just do it like this, and of course go back here, turn on the flashlight, you can see it is at that like level that I have said before. On the spotlight search of your iOS device, you can search for pretty much anything and you will also get suggestions and a quick action here to tap on go and open the first app or whatever a spotlight search will suggest. But you can actually modify this. So let me just search for something here. So you can see right here, I can search for Apple, but you can see what the spotlight search will do. It will actually suggest the top hit, which is the Apple Store app. And if I tap go here, it won't actually make the search for Apple, but it will open that app. How you fix that? All you have to do is just tap here where it says open, and now it will turn into search. So now instead of just opening the app, it will actually let me do my search. And now let's move on to Safari. Now here we have quite a few tricks that are actually very cool. First of all, if you didn't know this, on Safari, when you're on a tab and you wanna to go to the tabs view, all you have to do is just pinch in like this with three fingers and you're right here. Instead of using the button here, you can use the pinch in to go to the tabs view. And here we have another one. This is really awesome. Now on Safari, when you're on the tabs view, you can tap anywhere on the blank space and it will open the last tab that you were using. So if I'm here, you can see I go 
back to the tabs view all i have to do is just tap anywhere and it will actually open the last tab that i was using no matter where i tap on a blank space the last tab that we were using will be opened and that's really really cool now another thing you can do on safari right here if you press and hold you can see you will have the option to close this tab or close both tabs but if you go to the tabs view and you actually do the same by tapping and holding the x button right there on one of the tabs now you can have the option here to close all the other tabs so if you just want to keep one tab open and close all the other ones that's all you have to do 3d touch on the tab that you want to keep open and then you can go ahead and close all the other tabs now this one right here is pretty cool you know that on ios devices with a notch we have the home bar right here at the bottom even though on the home screen it's not visible but it has some really cool functions so of course you have the swipe up gesture to go to the app switcher and of course you want to open one of these apps you tap on it to open but you can also just swipe down like this and it will open that app so you don't have to actually reach for the card at all all you have to do is just swipe here to go between different app cards and just swipe down like this to open it so you can see how cool that is so you just swipe up you move through here and you can see which app is in the middle you can just swipe that down and it will show you that app as easy as that so really really cool of course maybe it's not the most practical thing but it actually works and it allows you to open any app you want simply by swiping down now this one right here is really useful if you have google chrome installed on your device i know a lot of ios users actually use google chrome i do i use it a lot and sometimes even more than Safari. And it has a very cool feature which you need to know of. Now, of course, having a lot of wallpapers on my device and of course displaying them on my videos, I have requests for their links. But having hundreds of wallpapers, most of the time I won't even know where I got the wallpaper from or most of the apps that have like wallpapers don't have actually direct links to those wallpapers. So the easiest way to find a wallpaper or any photo you want, simply install Google Chrome if you don't have it already. And of course, copy that image from the photo library. Simply copy an image and all you have to do is open Google Chrome, tap on the search bar and it gives you the option to search for the image you copied click of course allow there if you're on ios 16 and just like that it will search for the image you just copied from the photo library and will find the image that you're searching for this is a really cool feature to have very useful and of course one that you don't have on safari moving on to a keyboard trick now i did show this trick on a video before it was a few months before and a lot of people loved it and i get i saw that a lot of people based on comments didn't know about this so i thought i'd share it on this video as well so you know that when you tap and hold here the space bar your keyboard will turn into a trackpad basically allowing you to move the cursor anywhere you want on a text now the easiest way to select text with this feature is simply do this turn your keyboard into a trackpad and then just place the cursor wherever you want so let's say i want to select these two words right here just place the cursor there tap anywhere on the keyboard and now i can go ahead and select that you can see how easy it is so you just place the, the cursor anywhere tap once and then just start selecting as easy as that now here is an automation that i will show you guys that's really something that you need to have now this is one that i use a lot especially when of course i know i will be out of the house for a longer time and i don't need to have my bluetooth turned on because it will consume a ton of battery you can have it automatically turned off not disabled completely turned off simply head on to the shortcuts app and from here go to automations tap on create personal automation and you can have here your location or if you know basically the exact times you get out of your house every day you can do that by going to the time of the day or leave of course your current location which you can choose from there so you can set here a time you want to use let's say i get out of the house at 10 a.m every morning i can just go ahead and set this daily of course i want to repeat it daily and then all i need to do is add action and search for bluetooth here we have set bluetooth just tap right there to set it off click next 
disable this don't ask make sure to disable this as well and you're good to go every time you get out of your house you will have your bluetooth turned off completely of course if you don't need to use it on your car or something like that make sure to turn it off you will save a ton of battery and last but not least when you're creating alarms on your device if you have to wake up during the week every day at the same hour make sure you do this so you set an alarm and then make sure to tap on repeat and here we'll have all the days of the week so you can choose whichever days you need to get up at that same time of course you can edit these anytime you want and then you don't have to turn on the alarm every day it will be automatically every day that you select from here so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed these iphone life hacks that will most likely make your life easier using these on a daily basis thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more leave a like if you enjoyed the video and i'll see you on the next one